Hello and welcome to the Level 3 BTEC Enterprise and Entrepreneurship Extended Certificate. The Extended Certificate here at St Joseph's is taught by three members of staff, Mr Cabrera, Ms Amper, who is also your Head of Business and Economics, and Ms Cameron. In terms of the course overview, there are three mandatory units that learners must complete, one internal and two external. Learners must complete and achieve at near pass grade or above in all mandatory external units and achieve a pass or above in all mandatory internal units. In terms of the content covered, our learners who cover the extended certificate will be expected to cover four units. They'll be expected to learn about the successes of enterprise and entrepreneurs, and this will be covered in their unit one. They'll get the opportunity in unit two to develop a marketing campaign and will learn how to develop a marketing campaign, as well as looking at successful marketing campaigns, in, um, both in history, but already existing out there in the market. In unit three, learners will get the opportunity to learn about personal and business finance. Within this particular unit, learners will understand how businesses are funded, and how they continue to remain sustainable through their finance and also the impact on that uh, from a personal perspective on entrepreneurs. Learners will also get the opportunity to learn about the social enterprise framework and there are a number of different enterprises that our learners will get the opportunity to learn about but in Unit 7 they will get to specialise and focus on social enterprise and get the opportunity to look at some of the local as well as the widely national uh, social enterprise uh, frameworks and models. In terms of examination, learners will be examined in two ways. So they will be examined in the in, externally in Unit 2 and Unit 3, and these will be written assessments which will be marked and moderated by Pearson's at Excel. Units 1 and 7 are internally assessed units, and therefore these will be assessed by your classroom teachers but they will be moderated and sent off to Edexcel Pearsons for final moderation. Looking at the course requirements for our learners to be able to access the extended certificate, they will need to be able to achieve five GCSEs across five subjects, um, achieving a grade four to nine. Here at St Joseph's we do use a number of different teaching strategies and on the extended certificate course you will be expected to use a whole range of strategies including group work, presentations and developing your presentation skills, financial planning, problem solving, being able to strategically plan and you will be able to exercise your networking skills. But the great thing about developing your networking skills is you will get the opportunity to network both internally within the St Joseph's community, but also network with some of our external stakeholders. The course itself is resourced through the Peter Jones Academy as well as St Joseph's. All learners will have access to resources provided through Microsoft Teams, which is a great platform to allow learners to study independently, but also make use of resources in the classroom. Learners will also gain access to the Edexcel specification, which will enable learners to be able to follow the course as they progress through. We are one of the uh, Peter Jones Academies, and so the great thing about this is that we will get the opportunity to be able to use Peter Jones Academy resources and also to meet with some of the course providers and some of the stakeholders connected with Peter Jones Academy. All of our learners who study enterprise and entrepreneurship completely and thoroughly enjoy the course. It gives them the opportunity to develop their skill set and really merge independent learning and being able to develop those industry skills with what they learn in the classroom and really merge both the classroom and content with the wider world. Here is an example of a quote from one of our current Year 12 students. Thank you for listening to this presentation and hope to hear from you soon.